we are looking at four different ways to assemble strings and in the previous video I talked about concatenation in which we use the ampersand or the plus sign to add strings together or string elements together. They could be literal strings, they could be string variables or string constants. In this lesson let's look at how to do the same thing but using string.format. In the previous video, we had our application where we're asking the user to put their first name and favorite sport in assembling that string. So here's the concatenated string, which we're using the ampersand and the plus. But here then is our string format. We get the exact same results, but we're assembling the prompt differently. We're going to use string.format. String.format is a method of the string class, and we can place in it a literal string. So in this case, example up here, my name is and then we can use a placeholder. And that placeholder is in brackets and has a numeral in it. In this case, I used a number zero. In computing, we generally start counting with zero in most cases. And so this is going to mean the first variable that we want to place in this placeholder. We want to place that value of a variable in the placeholder. And we separate then the literal string with that placeholder and a comma. And then all the variables we want to use, comma separated. The first one's going to be element 0, the next one's going to be 1, the third one's going to be 2, and so forth. So in this case, it's going to take the value of fn and substitute it for my brackets and zeros. And that's what we did here in this str format variable. We're, develop, we're creating our prompt for our message box of string.format. My name is, I have an element of 0, and my favorite sport is an element of 1 period, close my, my string, a comma, and then element 0 is the value of fn, element 1 is the value of sport. By the way, I do not have to put these in order in my string. I could have had this be my name is 1 and my favorite sport is 0 and then swap these two that, so that sport is 0 and fn is 1. So we can use basically just the order that these are in corresponding to my digits in the placeholders. And the result is then my message box, I'm going to show for the prompt, str format, which says my name is Alex, my favorite sport is tennis, and then the title is string.format string. That's string.format, let's take a look at interpolation next. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the Programming Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.